My friends, I started this channel as an entertainment channel, but a lot of people watch it because they want practical information about the Philippines. And there's this news story in the Philippines right now that I thought I should share it with you because there's something we can learn from this. Or if it's something that you already know, it serves as a good reminder. Basically, George Clooney's wife, who's a lawyer for the UN, a human rights lawyer, she filed a case against the government of the Philippines and she also wants the, the current administration to apologize to the former president who's being de detained despite her health problems. And as you can imagine, a lot of people aren't real happy with her. Now some people of course like the former president. As with any president, they're gonna have their supporters and their haters. But what really bothers a lot of the local people that you see in the comments on the story, Mrs. Clooney, is sticking her nose into someone's business where it doesn't belong and she's talking about something that she really doesn't know about. And I know there's a lot of people that say, Travis, why don't you talk about things like government corruption? But here's the thing that you should know about the local Filipinos. They're not looking for you to be their hero. They don't need you to stand up for them. Don't put your nose into someone's business where it doesn't belong. That's only gonna make them angry. There was, a, about a year ago, there was a case where a European guy was detained because he joined protests against the local government and they have a law against that. Also keep in mind that this is a country that really doesn't have freedom of speech. Now I know it's in the Constitution, but it's not something that's honored. And there's even a lot of local Filipino people that get themselves into trouble if they have an issue with a high-powered government official. And for things that don't involve you, just stay out of it. And in reality, you being from another country, especially if you're just taking a short vacation, whatever the government's doing for the most part, it's really not gonna affect you. Now, there are a couple, there's a couple times when it is okay to say something, and first and foremost, if someone's messing with you and doing something that affects you, by all means, you don't have to forego all of your rights. There's been a couple times now where someone said to me, this is my country, not your country. And I'm actually glad they said it because I know in the United States there's a lot of foreigners and people occasionally say things to that. And I know when I go back, to the United States. Whenever I have a problem with someone from, a, from another country, by no means am I gonna say something that stupid and that crappy. And just because you're from another country, don't let someone power trip over you, take advantage of you. So speak your mind if someone's doing something that's going to affect you personally. And the other time that it's okay to do something or say something, if you see someone doing something that's obviously not right, it could be a crime, maybe they're abusing children. I think that it's okay to take appropriate action that you see fit. And now obviously, if someone's robbing a bank and they have guns, don't jump in it, you're only gonna get yourself shot. But something else about Mrs. Clooney is a lot of guys write me and they say, Travis, I wanna to move to the Philippines because American women, they're such bitches, they're feminist bitches. Well, guess what? Mrs. Clooney is not an American. She's from Asia. She's, I believe, Lebanese. And she has that very bitchy attitude. Now, me personally, I love and I admire strong women, but there's this belief in the Western world that for a woman to be strong, she has to also be a bitch. And I don't believe that's the case. So just to recap, don't put your nose in other people's business, especially when it's talking about things that don't affect you. Think about Piers Morgan coming over to the United States and how a lot of people got angry when he criticized the president or when he wants to take away American Second Amendment right. Of course, there's gonna be a lot of people that get angry at him and there's no reason for that. Uh, me personally, I don't generally, I don't generally publicly talk in my videos about religion and politics. Now occasionally I bend those rules, but I wanna bring people together and unify them. But also keep in mind, you don't have to let people power trip over you and mess with you. You can say something, and if you see someone doing something that you know isn't right, you can do whatever you think is right and whatever you think is appropriate. Until next time, my friends.